Hello everyone, welcome to 901 Woodworking. I'm Hubert Mace and today we're going to be making this wine barrel stave candle holder. It's a fairly simple project, uses only a single barrel stave, a couple of holes drilled into it to hold the votive candle holders, which you can easily get online. They're pretty simple little glass cups designed to hold a tea light. As I said, you can easily find these online and they're not very expensive. They're not just useful for holding candles either. You can fill these with water, put little flowers in them, or decorate them any way you'd like to make a nice centerpiece for your table. So, let's get started. The first step in making the candle holder is to choose the stave that you want to use. The candle holder uses these little votive candle cups and they are about a two inch diameter OD on the bottom. So we're going to be drilling two inch diameter depressions in the stave. There'll be seven of them in total. And so we want to choose a stave that is at least two and a half to three inches in diameter at its narrowest point. This stave here is three and a half inches at the widest, just over about three and a quarter at one end, and just under three at the other end. So this stave will work quite well. The next step is to mark the centers for where the depressions will be drilled. This can be any spacing that you like, whatever is pleasing. I use about a four and a half inch spacing between the depressions. And if you're only making one or two of these, then you can easily just lay out the spacing of the holes on the stave itself. Just mark a center line with a line and then mark, find the center for your center hole and then four and a half inches or four inches, whatever you think is pleasing to you out from there to mark the other holes. I've made a jig to make it easier to drill the holes because I need to make more than just a few of these. And this jig allows me to clamp up a stave and drill the seven positions without having to mark them first. Just makes life a little easier. It's a two piece jig. This is the top portion of it. The other portion is mounted on my drill press. And I've got a center line marked on the jig and two toggle bolts that will hold it in place. I clamp it in. And now it's ready to take to the drill press. The underside of the jig has a slat which engages with one of seven slots mounted to the drill press and positions the stave directly underneath the drill bit in the correct position. I add two spacer blocks to support the stave because even though it's clamped onto the jig, it still can flex enough that the hole ends up not being deep enough. Even though I've called them holes, they're not through holes. They're only about a half inch or so deep, just enough to securely hold the glass candle cups. Once the first hole is drilled, I move the jig to another position and drill the next hole. I repeat this until all seven holes are drilled. That completes the construction portion of the candle holder. Now we just sand and finish. I finish the candle holders the same way that I finish all of the other wine barrel furniture that I've made. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I sand with 150 grit, just a single grit, and then put on a high quality exterior grade polyurethane coating.
once the stave is sanded, we'll go ahead and put the finish on. For this project, I've chosen a gloss water-based polyurethane finish. And I'll put on two coats starting on the back side so that when I flip it over and do the front side, it's the last coat I put on and it's a nice and clean coat and looks good. Okay, that's the first coat. We'll let that dry for a few hours, and then apply a second coat. With the water-based polyurethanes, it's a bit thinner than the oil-based ones, so it might require more than two coats. We'll see after you put the second coat on how it looks. Okay, the finishing is complete. I ended up putting three coats on because it looked better, and as it turns out, that's what the instructions say. I suppose I should have read those in the first place, but I'm an engineer and we don't read directions, so there you go. But anyway, three coats looks pretty good. It's got a nice shine to it. Now all we have to do is add the votive candle holders and this will be finished. Put some candles in it and it'll be all done. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to make a wine barrel candle holder. Please join us next time as we do another wine barrel project. See you then.